Welcome to this week's Believe TV. What can you do to have a successful relationship and a closer relationship with your spouse? This last weekend, Chandel and I had the chance on Saturday night to speak in St. George, Utah uh, in front of uh, several hundred people at a marriage conference. And as I listened to my wife speak, uh, I, I absolutely thought that I was going to go in there and be able to enlighten these people and give them some marriage tips. And as I listened to Chandel speak, uh, one of the things that she said that just hit me uh, like a brick to the face, and no pun intended on that, that has helped our marriage was that we need to have our frequency set straight. If our marriage is going to be good, then we need to make sure that we put first and foremost in our life our Maker. And when she said that in that relationship uh, class, in front of all those people in that convention hall, uh, that we put our maker first and we made this a triangle. Um, it hit me that as, as Chandel and I have tried to do that, especially since the accident, that um, we have that one common goal. Our frequencies are the same. Um, we're all on the same level. We're able to communicate with each other much better when we do that on a regular basis. Now, some people call that prayer together. Some people call that communion. Others call it simply holding hands. I don't think that God really cares as long as we're on the same frequency. So how can we have a better marriage and relationship? If you're not on the same frequency, do whatever you can to get on the same frequency with your spouse and most importantly, your maker. Thank you all for joining us on this week's Believe TV.